Hello everyone, welcome back. Zeb here, back for another top three in Terraria 1.3. Today we're bringing you the top three pre-hard mode bows. We got the top three pre-hard mode bows here, and kicking it off at number three is the Molten Fury. So this basically is not a Terraria 1.3 weapon, obviously, but it is a super powerful bow for pre-hard mode. It is a fast speed shooting bow, but its effect of, oh good, slimes are falling, we can murder them all. The effect of lighting a wooden arrow as a blaze, make it shoot fire arrows, all with the great effect of using wooden arrows so you don't have to waste the time making fire arrows or the resources making them. So uh, that is fantastic. I was like, who's shooting arrows? It's our guide. Um, and as you can see, I mean, the damage on this is also really great. So 31 base damage for a pre-hard mode bow is really great. The fact that it shoots flaming arrows and shoots really fast makes it a really great, powerful bow. The only bad thing is it is a molten bow and it is a later pre-hard mode bow. So that is why it is earning itself a number three spot here instead of higher, mainly because you're going to need to mine the ore down in hell to be able to even get this so you're gonna have to make your way down to hell first and to even mine hellstone you're going to need a demon pickaxe or uh, the equivalent of that so that is why it is going to earn itself a number three spot instead of higher all in all though a wonderful bow absolutely um it's surprisingly still very powerful for a pre-hard mode bow and that's why we're giving it number three Coming in at our number two pick here, everybody, is going to be the Hellwing Bow. Now, I know maybe some of you are saying, well, why isn't this number one? And I will get to that. It is a great bow. And again, it's also some, some of these bows are very well matched. They all do their certain job. So it could be better at something else than the number one pick. Could not. But we'll go into it. Range damage is 20. So it is actually lower than the Molten Bow. But you can hold it down to fire. It shoots much faster very fast speed on the shot here and uh has the same effect as uh the fire there but it's it's gonna shoot flaming bats instead of turning it into a flame arrow which one is just awesome uh two it's just awesome so this bow uh is a 1.3 bow you're going to get it in the shadow chest down in hell so again it is a much later pre-hard mode bow than uh the others but it shoots flaming bats. It has a piercing effect also that it'll hit enemies and continue to go through them. So when firing it at a boss or something, you have a chance of hitting them two or three times instead of just one time with the Molten Fury, for example. So the downside to this bow is that it is a little inaccurate. As you can see, I'd be firing straight here right now and some of them are even shooting into the ground instead of shooting upwards. Um, that the uh, accuracy of this bow is not the best. So if you're at close range, it worked out fine. You're trying to shoot something further away. If you're going to try and use this bow against the wall of flesh, for example, it's not going to work out that great because you're going to be missing a lot of shots and uh, you kind of want to keep your distance on that guy, especially in expert mode, which is why we're going to give it a number two spot. If this bow had 100% accuracy and shot perfectly straight, I would honestly put it at number one. And coming in at our number one pick, everybody, is going to be the Bee's Knees. And I'm going to explain to you why it is the Bee's Knees instead of the Hellwing Bow. I know some people might have a preference for that over this, but there are quite a few things that make the Bee's Knees, I think, generally a better bow in pre-hard mode to earn the number one spot. So to start off, it does have a higher damage to it. It has 26 range damage, and it also shoots five bees so when it ever hits a target five bees are going to burst out and they're going to go do damage to that target again if it's a boss they're going to hit it and literally do all that extra damage to the boss and you can see they kind of do a base of anywhere between like eight to twelve and then they can also do critical hits on them too so it's a lot of extra damage it's not just 26 damage i mean if you add it up five bees shot into the wall of flesh 26 and 5 times 10, 50, you get a chance of doing 76 damage in one shot, which is a lot more. So they all have their effects. But the other thing about it is that it is 100% accurate. It has no fall to it at all. It will continuously go straight. You can shoot it up. It is going to continuously go straight up. 
until it hits something. So there's no fall to it at all, which is what makes the bow great. The other thing that makes this bow great is that it's not acquired so late in pre-hard mode that you're only able to use it for a short amount of time. This is acquired from the queen bee relatively easily. It's a relatively easy drop to get from her. Um, very common. You usually get it after the first try, if anything. Second or third try killing her, you're going to be able to get this bow. It's not a rare drop at all. And you're going to be able to kill the queen bee basically in the middle of pre-hard mode. You can kill her generally after killing the brain in the eye of Cthulhu or the either world, whatever, if you have crimson or corruption in your world. And uh, then you can go acquire this bow. And this bow would work perfectly well at killing Skeletron and also killing the wall of flesh. Whereas the Howling Bow, I definitely would not even attempt to try and kill the Wall of Flesh on Expert with that, because you would have to stay so close. I just definitely think this is a much better pick. So the Bee's Knees, definitely going to take our number one spot on this list for pre-hard mode bows. If you disagree with this list, leave down in the comments what you think should be the number one bow or number two or number third spot. If you do agree with the list, hey, leave a like. If you don't agree with the list, hey, leave a like also. Why not, right? And uh, hey, you know what? Just to show this off, we're showing what quick work this will do even to uh, just the king slime. Yeah, I know I have wings on, okay? It's, it, just give me a break. Let's get around easier. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all for the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye!